This is Dave. Dave creates electronic devices. He was having a good day until Ben informed him that the pins on the PCB didn't match up anymore. Dave is confused because he knows that the spreadsheet that he gave Steve on Friday had the correct pin changes in it. Steve says that he may have confused the pin numbers a little as he was doing his expenses at the time. This makes Dave a little peeved because now he has to sync up the pins on the board again and he'll be late for dinner with his new girlfriend, Bunny. Later that day, whilst Dave was resyncing the pins, Rob informed him that the prototype of the device they are working on doesn't fit into the case that Mark, the MCAT designer, had created. After realizing that all four mounting holes would have to be moved in order for the board to fit, Dave had to cancel dinner with Buddy and ask Lenny, his freaky neighbor, to feed his ex-wife's dog, Tootie. All work and no play was making Dave a dull boy, so when Ben returned to inform him that product management had requested the device have internet connectivity added to the prototype by tomorrow, even though they weren't sure what it would do when connected to the internet, but not to worry because they had a marketing team working on that as they spoke, Dave became a little more frazzled and unpredictable than his usual bubbly self. However, it wasn't until receiving word that Bunny had run off with freaky neighbor Lenny and that ex-wife Stacy had taken out a restraining order on him in order to protect Tootie from his neglect that Dave finally snapped. Ultium. There is a better way. Once upon a time, physical design aesthetic was the bastion of the French fashion industry. And, well, Italian sports cars. But not anymore. Today, the physical experience or look of any product that a customer interacts with is expected to make them feel cool, alive, sexy. Okay, maybe that last part is a bit of an exaggeration, but you get the point. Tomorrow's successful product will need to do more than just function. It needs to look good. So, just what does this mean for us? Well, more to the point, with so much market energy driving form factors to look cool, how exactly will the electronics team fit their stuff into the proverbial box? The answer seems simple. Add another dimension. Several years ago, Ultium saw where this physical design thing was heading and how heavily it would affect the electronics designer. At first, we did the only thing that any traditional EDA company would do. We denied and avoided the real problem. Instead, we provided the same solution as everyone else. You know, generate the 3D files so you could throw them over the wall to the MCAD guys. The problem was, we kind of knew this approach didn't work too well. So, after offering the same thing as everyone else for a while, we decided to grow some bollocks, go it alone, and actually solve this thing properly. But what exactly would this entail? Well, for starters, we would need to create a completely new three-dimensional visualization system, a system that could handle the hundreds of thousands of elements in a typical PCB and allow for design rule checking at the PCB design level. You combine this with dynamically linking this 3D model of the product in the MCAD space back into the PCB design space and do it all in real time. Well, that's exactly what we did. It took us a few years to build, but a system completely replaces the traditional two-dimensional PCB layout process with a fully blown three-dimensional PCB environment. It was absolutely imperative in order to progress to the next generation of design software. From here, everything else was academic. With the visualization of the physical design brought to life within the PCB space, it wasn't too big a step to provide real-time 3D interference checking and dynamically link models in the ECAD space back to the models in the MCAD tools. 3D visualization is just one aspect of how Altium is revolutionizing electronic design. So, if you want to see what the next generation of design tools looks like, you've come to the right place.